It had been a dull day. Katie discovered that even if you make plans with your friends, sometimes they don't work out. Orby found out that even when you have the glue to glue sticks together, sometimes the glue can be all dried up. And they both learned that even if you paint bright pictures, the day can still seem dull. Dad was working on one of his projects when he came upstairs. He found Katie and Orby sitting on the top step, looking a little bored. Dad looked at them and sat on the step, too. He told Katie and Orby he really worked hard, but he had a problem he couldn't figure out. He sat and looked at the two friends and then grinned, and he had the perfect idea for a break. In the living room, Dad pushed all the furniture back with great grunting and shoving. Then he asked Katie and Orby to go up to the bedroom and bring down some pillows. Ah. Orby shot out of the living room before Katie had time to move. And she asked her dad what they were getting ready for. Dad smiled and told her, a rumpus. Katie said, oh, and ran out of the room. Katie was halfway up the stairs and looking right into a walking pillow collection when she realized that she didn't know what a rumpus was. Orby checked that it was all clear and tumbled the pillows down the stairs. Katie asked her friend what a rumpus was. Orby didn't know either. Back in the living room, Dad had scooped up all the pillows. He used them to make sure the sharp corners of things were safe. Mom walked in carrying some milk. She looked at the living room and Dad. Oh, no, was all she said. Dad told her, oh, yes, and they would need two teams. Katie couldn't wait anymore. She asked Dad what a rumpus was. Dad smiled and explained that they were going to play family tag team wrestling. Everybody had to take off their shoes and anything that could scratch. Mom sat down with him. Dad said that a player couldn't hit or kick or hurt anybody. All you were allowed to do was pretend to fight. You could grab and hold and even push over, but gently. Katie and Orby looked at each other. Then Dad added that everybody had to make it look spectacular. And when you were caught or ready for a break, you had to reach out and tag the other member of your team. Then they could rescue you. Katie was really beginning to like the sound of the rumpus. It was always fun to wrestle with Dad. <laughs> Mom and Dad showed Katie and Orby where the teams had to wait on either side of the pillows. They could reach in to tag the other team member. Dad told them that it would be the guys against the girls. And Mom and Dad started to show Katie and Orby how to play. Mom and Dad stood in the middle of the room. They circled around each other. Mom kept giggling because Dad was making the silliest faces. Then Mom pretended to push Dad. She barely touched him, but he pretended it was a really hard push and fell back. And Dad got up, picked Mom up. Mom shrieked with laughter. He put her down on the floor and put his foot on top of her tummy. Mom tickled his toes, and Dad hated having his toes tickled. He reached for Orby to come into the ring and save him. Orby and Dad tagged. Orby flipped in, ready for fun, and Dad dragged himself out. He called to Katie that her teammate was a big cheat because she tickled. He was making a funny face and giggling. Mom was pretending to spin around when Orby pushed her. She said that she wasn't cheating. Dad never said no tickling. <laughs> Katie told Dad that was true. Dad warned Orby to be careful. The girls were really tough. Orby had Mom around her legs. She couldn't walk or anything, so she reached and tagged Katie. Katie grabbed Orby's hand and pulled him off and tried to spin him around. Orby was as funny as Dad. He made all kinds of crazy faces, too, and tumbled to the ground doing a backward somersault. And he landed right beside Dad and tagged him. Dad backed into the circle, pretending he wasn't sure if Orby wanted him to go in or not. 
Katie pushed him from behind and dead, threw his hands up in the air, and then he dove down into a forward somersault. <laughs> Katie laughed. Dad got up and pointed. He told her nobody laughed at him. He grabbed Katie and hung her upside down, holding her very carefully, of course. Katie couldn't stop laughing, and neither could Orby. Mom asked if she wanted help, and Katie laughed. Yes, and Mom reached out, and they did an upside-down high five. <laughs> and Dad put Katie down gently and then turned to Mom. Mom and Dad wrestled, holding each other like it was a dance. And when Mom pushed forward, Dad moved back. And when Dad swung his arm around, Mom ducked down. When Dad swung his leg at her feet, Mom jumped. Then Dad grabbed Mom around the waist and lay her down on the floor. He sat on top of her. <laughs> and he didn't let any of his weight go on her, of course. And Mom laughed so hard. And then Dad told everybody he would now have his revenge. He raised his hands up high and then started tickling Mom. <laughs> and Mom laughed louder and louder. Then Dad asked if she wanted to give up, and Mom shook her head no. But after a few minutes, she said yes. She couldn't reach Katie, and she couldn't take it anymore. Dad announced that the best part of tag wrestling was now. Everybody had to kiss the loser. Everybody crawled over and gave Mom big kisses as she laughed. When Dad let her up, she told Katie... They'd win the next round, and they did. <laughs> and they played tag wrestling until everyone needed a drink. As Katie took her first sip, the doorbell rang. It was Yi Ping wondering if they wanted to play. Mom sat alone in the kitchen and giggled to herself. Her entire family was so silly. <laughs> I think she loved them a whole lot just that way. And I bet sometimes your family loves to be silly, too. Just like Katie and Orby's. And guess what? I bet they love you a whole lot. Just the way you are.